Hey, welcome back to Uncle Anna's Workshop. Uh, you're kind of wondering, what is this thing on top of my table? Well, this is a major purchase I made on Facebook Marketplace the other day. $5 for this great old kitchen rolling table island, if you will, thing. Um, I'm going to see if I can convert this into a rolling drill press station. Um, maybe even a charging station, something. Um, and I'm going to mainly use uh, the scraps of wood that I have laying around the workshop. The only thing new I purchased for this was uh, these three inch casters, nice rubber casters. And this one has, the caster has the stopper on it. So it's the only thing new I bought for this because these cheap plastics just won't handle it. But yeah, we're going to see if we can convert this over to a drill press. And uh, what the heck, let's try it out. Hope you guys like this video and uh, we'll see if we can actually do it. All right. All right, first we're gonna take these uh, these casters off, these cheap plastic casters. They won't last for nothing. I'll take these off. Put this to the side. And then I'm gonna take this off because I think I'm gonna put a three quarter inch piece on each side of this to make it much more stable. All right, let's see what we can do here. This is probably a riveting video because you're probably just getting the back of my head, huh? All right. All right, I'm gonna take the rest of this off and uh, I'll show you when I put wood back on it, all right? should stabilize the whole thing. And square it all up, because uh, this back piece I cut square. So, it should make the whole thing it up because it's just a little catty wampus right now. All right, I'll put some screws in this and uh, good to go. And now, after we shot some brad nails in, we're just gonna put some screws in to secure the back. I countersunk the holes so I should not go through and blow out the wood. Of course, don't go crazy hammering down the screws either. So nice, just nicely in there. There we go. Here I'm gonna start supporting the base. Uh, I'll put, put some two by fours in. Just get a good, real good support. Cool beans. Okay, I'm gonna put put a, a caster on now, and hopefully, uh, I'm not gonna get my hand too far in the way here, so I can show you. I pre drilled the holes, so hopefully, I don't split through the wood. There's two screws. I'll back it up just a little bit.
And here's a fourth. There's a caster. Woohoo! And this is after putting the casters on. She's all level. Woohoo! Alright, now I'm bolting it down. The drill press down to my new base. The new base we just built. Rolling cart. Rolling. Nice and snug. Nice and snug. All right. We're going to see how this works. And I just want you all to see that it is perfectly level. All right. And after putting the when drill press table on, she is still level. All right, now let's work on the rest, shall we? All right, we're going to drill a hole here in the back so that the cords from the charging stations can come through. And I'm going to have a power strip back here. So let's check this out. Alright, here's a neat little trick of uh, trying to line up these screws onto a mounting um, wall, if you will. Um, you take a piece of painter's tape, cover up the holes, and we're going to take our pencil and punch out where our screws need to be. Now I'm going to transfer this over to where I want to mount it onto my mobile drill press and uh, all the screws should line up and this should slide right in. Let's try it out. Okay, I transferred my piece of tape onto the backing board here. I'll put in some screws. Hole in the tape is. Two more. Let's see if this turns out. All right, I'll take my. lines up boom it all lined up she's on there the power strip is right where it's supposed to be how about that that's just a little tip from Uncle Wayno all right and there you have it guys for five dollars I built this awesome drill press station yeah a five dollar purchase on Facebook marketplace for this kitchen rolling cart whatever you want to call it it was pretty rickety so i stiffened it up a lot with some boards and such i also put a charging station here for my dewalt chargers now check this out rolls real nice because that's the only thing i bought brand new for this was casters from menards which was about six bucks a piece so we have about thirty dollars invested in this rolling cart um here's the power supply here i have my cords coming out the back end here and uh, oh, hey, Bev, check this out. These are from uh, when we took down the curtains in your dining room. Yeah, I kept the hardware. Boom. I was able to wrap cords around it. It worked great. I, again, 
zero dollars. And this board, also, Bev, you had leftover wood, boom, there it is. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, just goes to show you, if you have stuff laying around, you can get a little creative and, and, and build something. All right, so this has been Uncle Wayno with this $5 drill press station. All right, until next time, like I always say, keep being creative and, and build something. All right, till next time, guys.